Hey guys, it's Bridgette with San Diego Seed Company. Today I want to show you some of my cabbages, okay? These are looking gorgeous despite a little bit of damage. This is our Copenhagen Early Market variety. In zone 10, which is where we are, we actually planted this in the fall and then let it grow all winter because our winters are very mild. And you can see now it's gorgeous, it's early spring, and we've got this awesome head of cabbage that we can make sauerkraut with or you know, there's endless amounts of recipes that we can use with it. And I do wanna talk a little bit about what issues you can have with any brassica um, in, in a winter garden. See these guys? They can be very damaging. Now we have a lot of them, unfortunately, and we try to let our chickens out so that they can eat them and kind of keep them under control. But you can see here, this is what the damage looks like. This is um, quintessential slug and snail damage. You can see a little bit of their, of their poo and where they've been eating. You can, if, if I get down in here, we're gonna see some baby ones in here. And now there's a couple different ways you can manage this. If you have a small enough garden, you can actually just come out in the mornings and hand pick them. Um, or after rain, when there's a lot of them, you can come out and just try to, hey, <laughs> So he scared me. Uh, you can just try to hand pick them and get rid of as many as possible. If you have chickens, let your chickens go to town. They will really bring the population down. Then you can also use products like Sluggo, which is an organic product, and you can follow the instructions and use it in your garden. Sluggo is an organic product, but you do want to read the directions and use it correctly so that it's safe around children, pets, and in the garden. Um, for us, really a little bit of damage is not a big deal. It's worth not having to use any uh, product in our garden that we don't have to. But this is the cabbage, looks amazing, and I cannot wait to make sauerkraut. Okay, so when do you grow cabbage? Well, for us, we have very mild winters, and we're in zone 10, so we can actually grow cabbage through the winter. If you live in other areas that have harsher winter weather, then you're gonna wanna start these in early spring, and you can do them by planting the seeds in, in little seed starter trays, and then planting them out as soon as the threat of frost has passed. 